Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our fifth tutorial on Inkscape. If you have not viewed the previous tutorials, you can go back and find them on our website. And if you already know all of the basics of Inkscape, feel free to skip ahead and you know you can go towards some of the more advanced lessons right now. We're going to start off today talking about a really cool tool there on Inkscape that uh, may be overlooked by some that may be new to the program but we're gonna talk about in depth today let's first grab the baser curve tool and let's just draw a basic shape okay is that basic enough for you now here is the tweak objects by sculpting or painting tool you can press shift plus F2 on a PC to get to this tool and you, you see right off the bat it's kind of confusing there's a big circle what does this do well at first glance it might not do much of anything it seems to just move these lines around a little bit um, you can see that you can actually use it to start rounding off some of these corners and stuff but let's get a little bit more specific than that let's look up here at the top and see there's all kinds of options here for this tool with force uh, the mode that you can use uh, on the width here this is going to decide how big this circle is 20 is pretty good but you know you might want to be working in a smaller application you can bring it down to 11 or 10 let's go back up to 20 which is where I'm gonna want it for now and let's talk about force for a moment I'm gonna go ahead and set the force at 100 so that you can really see what this tool does and so you know if you have a graphics tab uh, you can set this tool to work uh, to where it applies more force the harder you press down with your pen uh, here in the mode you can see that you have several options this first option is push parts of the path in any direction now I've purposefully put these two parts of the path close together here now when I put this tool on them it's gonna push them both in the same direction more or less here they're both going up or down together what if I want to bring these two parts of the path closer together let's grab the shrink inset parts of the paths now it'll bring them so close together it'll actually make them one and the line will totally disappear here if you push too much down uh, let's do undo control Z what if we want to push these two parts of the path farther apart grow outset the parts of the path here see how that works control Z out of that now we can attract parts of the path towards the cursor with this so whichever side of the, the cursor zone here the paths are going to automatically move in that direction and you can repel parts of the path away from the cursor this is gonna make these paths as if they're afraid of the cursor and anywhere you put the cursor they're gonna move away from that inside or out it doesn't matter where you put them but uh, this is an extremely useful tool uh, and you're gonna see why when we get into some design applications I just can't wait to show you how this tool can work uh, for that and let's go into the roughened parts of paths this is pretty neat for some design stuff here you can uh, roughen your path here and there's there's just uh... it just makes this path not so uh... straight and smooth it purposefully roughens the path that could be used to create some pretty neat effects but uh... here we also have some color options here and it can it can tweak the color and mess with the color of your of your image here and it's pretty random uh, the way it works also uh, jitter the colors
Alright, well, we managed to cover this one tool in one tutorial, so we'll go ahead and uh, end this tutorial here. I try to keep them as close to five minutes as possible, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.